I'm here with poet and author uh, Blake Morrison, enjoying a typical, uh, beautiful summer day here in uh, Traque. Tell us about you. Why are you here? What are you looking for? Well, I'm here, I suppose, because it's a beautiful house and with immense history to it. Um, I'm on also at the Edinburgh Book Festival, and there's a nice link up between these two festivals one huge in Edinburgh, one more discreet here. Um, I'm interested in, in the kind of work that goes on here, um, human rights, but it's not my field. You know, I'm a poet, I'm a novelist, I write, write memoirs. I guess I'm here as a literary author, but it's very interesting to meet some of the people here, whether they're journalists or work for the United Nations or diplomats, whatever. It's, it's a very special atmosphere. Have you heard about the festival before? Yeah, only, only recently actually, from, from, from Mark, who is, is the, the driving force behind it. Uh, we have this strange connection, which is that we, we've both been played by Colin Firth in films. Uh, I don't know whether you know this, but Mark uh, was the model for, for, for Darcy, for Mark Darcy in uh, Bridget Jones's Diary. He was the consultant on that film, uh, played by a famous actor, Colin Firth. And uh, my memoir about my father was adapted into a film, and Colin Firth played me. So when a mutual acquaintance brought us together, uh, she took a photo, put it on Facebook. Two men who've been played by. We should have the three of you together. Uh, you know, I'm having sure a nice chat. I think Colin Firth, who's a very literary guy, would probably enjoy coming here. You're here to launch your uh, first uh, uh, full length uh, poetry collection in 30 years. Mm, Am yes. I right? Yes, uh, I began as a poet uh, and then I went back to prose um, and uh, wrote a couple of books about my parents, one about a murder case, and then and then three novels. Um, but the last few years I've come back to my first love, poetry, and, uh, and I've begun writing poems again. Is there a particular reason for that? It's strange, you know, it's, uh, it, you, I don't think you can will into being what you must be doing at a certain point of your life. Yes, occasionally you take a commission and you write something that's commissioned, but otherwise it comes naturally out of you, and for some reason the, the poems stopped for a while and, and now they've now they've resumed. Maybe because I was stuck on a novel or had some sort of block about prose, but for whatever reason they've just started to come again. Well, some people do say that uh, poetry is the source of, of uh, all literature. So going back there is in a sense to renew one's commitment to writing. Yes. Do you feel that that is the case? I do. I, do. I think of it as, the, in a way, the purest form of language that is tightest and most economical, most imaginative perhaps, and um, in a way it's like, yeah, going back to the source, refreshing yourself, cl cleaning, cleaning up your act, cleaning up your language uh, after years of uh, um, dispersing in, into prose and digressing into prose just to tighten, tighten if everything that, If that is the case, then there may be a beautiful connection between uh, going back to prose and coming to a place like Praquera. This place has always felt uh, to me as a source, place, one of those places you go back to in order to stop the noise of everyday life mm. and uh, uh, to find uh, the voices and the words that really matter. Yes, yes, well it's, it's my first time here, so I, I, I can't speak about coming back here, <laughs> but, uh, but I, walking down by the river this morning, walking in the grounds, getting my feet completely soaked in the wet grass, that was all a cleansing, refreshing um, experience, yeah. Perfect place for uh, poetry to. Yes, I, I, no, no, I, I guess I'm too nervous about being about to go on stage um, to have written any poems this morning, but, but yeah. Isn't, isn't that absolutely wonderful? The fact that uh, uh, we writers and authors are now uh, being asked to appear on stage. I don't think that's particularly new, that's where we began. But I, I love the feeling uh, of fear before uh, going on stage. It never, it never, it never ceases. You, no. you may have done it uh, 20, 30 times, still there. Is it the same as when we confront the, uh, you know, the, the blank the page? The blank page. In a way, it's more terrifying. I know some people say a blank page is terrifying, but an audience, uh, people you don't know, um, you don't know how much they've read of you, you don't know. What they, what they go for, what they like, so that's always going to be a bit terrifying. Um, but usually by the end it's a, a very uplifting kind of experience. I mean you are meeting your readers, you are meeting people with a passion for books, um, and uh, you know that's, that's a great opportunity. Um, 
Yes, I mean, I, I guess you could say it's some sense in which it's resuming an oral tradition of literature. You know, you, you're standing up, you're reading aloud. Um, and that's, that's good, that's part of it. But, but also, I think literary festivals have grown, certainly in, in, in the UK in the last 15 years or so. Immense number have sprung up. And, it, and it's all about this interaction between authors and readers, which, um, which I think is a very good thing. It's a beautiful uh, uh, paradox. I mean, we're we're all the time we're being told that uh, uh, you know, given uh, technology and the media and so on, uh, the connection between audiences and authors uh, uh, has been lost. Mm. And yet, as you said, more and more people want to get close to the authors, and also ourselves. We want to be closer to our readers. Yes. Is that what we can expect uh, here at Troquet? I think so. Um, again, it's, it's I'm about to do it for the first time, so. Uh, but everything, uh, everything that I've been, I've heard about it suggests, uh, yeah, it's quite an intimate experience. Um, I like the idea of this. That this festival is, you know, they're just a series of, of hour-long sessions. There's not multi events going on in many different tents. Um, uh, uh, so it has that more intimate feel compared to the big festivals of Edinburgh, Hay, Cheltenham, and so on. I like that. Blake, as an admirer of your poetry, I welcome you to Chakwe. Thank you. We'll see you next year. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you.